ideal gas equation and absolute scale of temperature. In the case of gases, pressure, volume and temperature, they are interdependent. Pressure, temperature and volume. You try to change pressure, temperature also changes, volume also changes. You try to change temperature and see how pressure changes. Simultaneously, volume will be changing. So it is difficult to study all the three. So that is why we keep one constant. Keep temperature constant. Concentrate on pressure and volume. Increase pressure and see how volume increases or volume changes. With the increase in pressure, volume decreases. With the increase in pressure, volume decreases. So pressure and volume are inversely proportional. That is true at constant temperature. So this law is called Boyle's law. Now, keep pressure constant. If pressure is constant, with the increase in temperature, volume also increases. Temperature is directly proportional to volume. If temperature is directly proportional to volume, then that is at constant pressure and it is called Charles law. And using these two law, ideal gas equation is obtained. Boyle's law, constant temperature. So at constant temperature, volume of given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. See, when pressure is applied, volume decreases. Pressure increases, volume decreases means they are inversely proportional. So we can write pressure is inversely proportional to volume. V for volume. Then PV equal to constant. PV equal to constant. PV equal to constant also implies that some pressure corresponding volume equal to some other pressure corresponding to different volume equal to constant. So this is P1 V1 equal to P2 V2 equal to constant. Boyle's law. Now Charles law. Charles law says at constant pressure volume of given mass of a gas is directly proportional to temperature. So volume is directly proportional to temperature. For time being, let me use capital T. If temperature increases, volume increases. Temperature decreases, volume decreases. Nothing but V by T is a constant. V by T ratio of these two is a constant. This implies that volume of the gas at temperature T1 equal to if temperature changes to T2 then volume also changes V2 equal to constant. PV equal to constant V by T equal to constant see PV constant but V by T V by T is constant so we can write PV by T should be a constant. If this is a constant, this is a constant, we can say that PV by T is also a constant. And that constant is mu times R, which is a constant. Of course, the, of course, these constants are different. So just mention constant, enough. And PV by T equal to mu R where mu is number of moles, R is gas constant. So this is called ideal gas equation. 
number of moles and gas constant also called universal gas constant boils la b t b t boils la temperature is constant c p charles la pressure is constant if temperature is constant the other two variables are pressure and volume if pressure is constant the two variables are temperature and volume statements equations so we can write pv by t equal to constant which is mu into r pv by t equal to mu r ideal gas equation or pv equal to mu r t where mu is number of moles r is gas constant is absolute temperature absolute temperature the value of r is 8.31 pressure into volume pressure into volume gives joule so mu equal to pv by oh no r equal to pv by mu t pressure into volume gives joule this is mole this is kelvin joule per kelvin per mole this is the si unit of gas constant so 8.31 joule per kelvin per mole so this is the unit of 8.31 in the case of ideal gas pressure versus temperature a graph of pressure versus temperature this is some gas ideal gas at 0 degree celsius gas will occupy some volume with the increase in temperature pressure also increases it occupies some volume at some pressure with the increase in temperature pressure also increases pressure cooker temperature increases pressure increases so at 0 degree celsius gas has some pressure with the increase in temperature pressure also increases so this is how pressure increases linearly then decrease the temperature below 0 degree celsius pressure also decreases so decrease in temperature leads to decrease in pressure and finally the curve touches the x axis at some temperature and that temperature is 273.15 degree celsius it is to the left therefore minus so at this lowest temperature minus 273.15 degree celsius minus pressure of the gas becomes zero so it is that temperature where pressure of the gas becomes zero similarly volume versus temperature the gas at zero degree occupies some volume with the increase in temperature volume increases with the decrease in temperature volume decreases so at zero degree celsius gas will have some volume with the increase in temperature gas volume increases then decrease the temperature volume decreases decreases finally at some temperature volume becomes zero students what do you mean by volume of the gas becomes zero volume becomes zero means volume decreases decreases finally the gas ceases to exist negligibly small so this temperature is 
point one five degree Celsius. Again, it is to the left, therefore minus. So at this lowest temperature, volume of the gas becomes zero. There is no volume. There is no volume means there is no question of pressure. That is why pressure also zero here. So at this temperature, pressure is zero. At this temperature, volume is zero. Now you consider some other gas, different gas. That different gas will also show the same characteristic. Same characteristic means even for the second gas, okay, this is gas one. For the second gas, the volume increases with the increase in temperature, decreases with the decrease in temperature. But volume becomes zero at this temperature, means it could be this for the second gas. It is how it is how volume changes with respect to temperature. Surprising fact is this at this temperature volume of that second gas also becomes zero. Now some other gas third gas then in some other gas again nature of graph is same x intercept is same and this is gas 3 for third gas again at minus 273.15 degrees Celsius volume becomes zero for all the gases this temperature is same means this is taken as the reference in absolute scale of temperature also called Kelvin scale of temperature so you want to mention any temperature here then it is 273 plus the temperature so we can write temperature in Kelvin scale equal to 273.15 plus temperature in Celsius scale this is the equation used so you can drop this if temperature is high or else just capital T equal to 273 plus C or T C usually small letter is used for Celsius and capital T is used for Kelvin okay so relation between Kelvin scale and temperature Kelvin scale and then Celsius scale students copy the notes PDF is also given copy the notes write and practice at least once write and practice if you don't understand anywhere then sit quietly and think about that topic think about that concept and try to link with respect to the surrounding topics you'll get a picture and it is easy to understand so these are the basics of heat and temperature nothing but thermal properties of matter